Hey guys, how are you doing? After updating to iOS 26 and even the latest version 26.2, several users have reported that their iPhone system storage is keep on increasing and for some users it have gone up to 30 GB or 40 GB or even 50 GB plus you know overall even though they have updated to the latest version users are noticing such different issue. So it is not happening to everyone but you know for very limited amount of users so in such case you can try the troubleshooting steps that i'm about to suggest in this video so here you can see the ios takes around 20 gb on my iphone 17 model so depending on the iphone model the system storage the file size the operating system file size will be different so for me it is around 14 gb and the apple intelligence if you're using and you have enabled it then it will be downloaded and stored here you can see the separate size mentioned here for the apple intelligence files it's around 7 gb for my iphone 17 model so the total size is 20.61 gb is mentioned here so that is totally normal when it comes to the system data is where the problem happens some users are noticing that it goes 30 gb 40 gb or even above 50 gb and it keeps on increasing without seeing any reduce because as we use the temporary files, the cache files, depending on the apps that we use normally, the system data storage size will be fluctuating. It will go up to 20 GB and then it will reduce to 10 GB or less than that. With iOS 18 and below version, it was maintained within the 20 GB, but I can see that in iOS 26, maybe due to the liquid glass and the added animation effects, it have increased the overall storage size to maximum 25 GB. But this space will not be bothering you when you store more number of files it will automatically reduce and it will leave some space for you to you know store photos videos and other files on your device apple even though increased the base storage on iphone 17 lineup the other models that are using the ios 26 you know using 128 gb will definitely be experiencing some issues with the storage management when the size keeps on increasing with the system data so this will fluctuate don't worry about the system data if you're seeing it 20 gb or less than that it will automatically fluctuate for users who are experiencing the constant increase of system data storage then you can try the troubleshooting steps that i'm about to suggest so within the settings app general navigate inside the date and time then turn off the set automatically and adjust the date somewhere to the future okay uh, you don't have to go to the past date just adjust a date one year after and just two or three months difference then come back uh, to the settings app and uh, you can perform a restart of your iphone and then navigate inside the settings general and uh, again come back to the date and time then set it automatically this will clear out any cache and uh, temporary files that is you know stored in the system data uh, storage and you can see the reduced amount of storage within few seconds for some users it may suddenly see some increased amount of storage like for me uh, it was 23 GB around but after few minutes you know two to three minutes you can check again the system data will be reduced for me it is you know kind of reduced around 9 GB to 10 GB difference after using certain apps you may see again the increase in system data uh, you know to certain level to up to 20 GB you don't have to repeat the process again and again but this will help you to clear out some space and let you to store some files photos and videos and any other files that you want to store on your device and if you're experiencing the storage related problem uh, you know while storing files on your iPhone or iPad also a quick heads up don't forget to check our recently launched Spencio app that will help you to track your expenses loans and subscriptions don't miss the renewal dates and you can of course manage your subscriptions in different multiple currencies are also supported so you can keep track of all your expenses loans and subscriptions at the same time you can cancel any subscriptions if you think that you're not using it properly and with some ai features the reports will let you to understand previous month expenses to get better data and uh, you know keep your expenses organized and the next basic troubleshooting step is navigate inside settings general and scroll down to transfer or reset iphone then uh, you need to perform the reset 
okay so reset all settings this is a basic troubleshooting step that will help you to clear out any system related problems that is causing the increased amount of unwanted system data storage on your device so if previous date and time changing trick didn't help much then you can try the reset all settings this will reset all the settings on your iphone the accessibility settings and any settings that you have changed on your device it will not delete any of your data photos and videos and files the apps and everything will stay on your device only the settings changes that you have made will be reset and you have to reconfigure the settings once again if you have made any changes so this will also help you to fix any problem that is causing the system data to increase continuously and if you are still experiencing the issue that the system data is going above 50 gb 40 gb you know level then it is important to take a backup of your iphone once with the help of windows computer if you are using windows then you can use itunes or apple devices app and if you are using mac computer use the finder app to take a backup of your device and then perform a full ios restore if your iphone is under warranty you can take it to the apple service center they will do it for you and i'll also leave some useful links in the description and in the first pinned comment comment and the article that will help you to do the iOS clean installation step by step. This way you can fix the bug that is keep on increasing the system data storage above 40 GB or 50 GB. If it is around 20 GB, just the date and time changing trick will be sufficient to fix it, to clear it out temporarily. But if it is beyond the control, then you need to try the iOS restore as the last step to fix the system data storage keep on increasing on your iPhone. And don't forget to set the date and time to automatically because otherwise most of the apps, banking apps and the system will not function normally if the date and time is changed. Changed. your network connection will not work normally you won't be able to open and uh, you know websites and many of the apps that you have installed on your device if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment below thank you and have a wonderful day